It is a somber day uh, here in the valley, and especially it's close to home for us here at ABC 15. Yeah, hard to believe it was 10 years ago today. We lost two TV news helicopters when they collided in midair over central Phoenix. And we lost four journalists in all, two who worked right here at ABC 15. And today uh, they marked the moment at 1246 over at Steel Indian School Park at the memorial right there to mark the somber anniversary. ABC 15's John Genovese has a look back at what's changed since that fateful day. It was the day breaking news hit too close yeah, he just, to home. He, he just did hit a car. A high speed pursuit involving a dangerous suspect. Oh, they just put more stop sticks down. He'd rammed police cars, crashed into innocent victims, and was running on his rims. Three, I'm right over you. 15's over top of you. News choppers maneuvered and viewers at the edge of their seats as the suspect tried to carjack another victim. There was a bunch of choppers in the air. No one was prepared for what happened next. You know, I was looking, I kept going, go lower, go lower, go lower. I said, they, they, they hit, they hit each other. Two helicopters colliding. In an instant, those who cover the news became the news. It is a loss tonight that words cannot even begin to describe. And I was hoping and praying that somebody would open a door. Nobody opened the door. Four journalists, ABC 15's Craig Smith and Rick Krolak, 3TV's Scott Bauerbank and Jim Cox, losing their lives in the fiery crash at Steel Indian School Park. All of us in this community have had a special loss today. Ten years have now passed. Covering the news from the air is drastically different. Instead of all working the same altitude, try to stay 500,000 feet of, of separation between aircraft. The five major Phoenix news outlets now share just two helicopters. Steve Watkins and Troy Barrett work on one of them. Pilots no longer report, keeping their eyes focused on flying. Better communication and better technology, like this long-range camera, has made its way on board. That allows us sometimes to stay far back, up to a mile, even a mile and a half at times, from the actual uh, scene itself moves to ensure safety in the skies. They were the best of friends. And to honor those lost by making sure it doesn't happen again. They were they were so close working together. They enjoyed it so much. They really were the best of friends mm -hmm. too. Craig and Rick, they I think they had breakfast together every morning <laughs> after the morning show, you know, and so they were our friends too and, and uh, it's hard to believe 10 years. I, it's surreal to think that 10 yeah. years have gone by and to be in that moment and to try to put everything aside and, and walk our, through, our, our viewers through what happened out there was just an unbelievable process because so many people witnessed it and remember that moment from 10 years ago as well. So certainly, I mean, I wasn't even in the valley at that point. I was still an anchor in, in Charlottesville, Virginia, and I remember watching the coverage following it on national news thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. And also, you know, thinking of you, not even realizing who you were at that point and how close it would be, but understanding how close we all are in a newsroom. It's like a family. So unbelievable thing that happened. They will be missed. Certainly will. And you know, there's one other part of the story that we certainly do want to update as well. You might remember Molly the Flying Dog. She was a frequent part of ABC 15 morning shows and the West Highland White Terrier often flew with Craig Smith on Chopper 15. Well, Molly lived a long and happy life with Craig's parents, but developed a tumor earlier this year and died at the age of 15. Her ashes are now spread with Craig's.